Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Remothered Tormented Fathers. You may remember a couple months ago, several months ago, I played the closed beta of this game, and we played about an hour and a half's worth, I think, but the game is in early access on Steam now. There's a link to that in the description. I believe it's 12 or $13, so not that bad. Uh, I will be replaying up to the point where the closed beta ended in this video so if you haven't seen up until then I'll link those previous videos in the description so basically in this video we'll just be picking up where the closed beta ended uh, for the most part unless there's something drastically different from what I've already played if you're unfamiliar with this game it's basically a modern indie clock tower uh, it actually started out as a clock tower remake but then it kind of spun off into its own thing I've been following it for several years now and I'm excited that it's finally out in early access. Let's go ahead and start a new game. I don't have a saved game because they deleted my save from the closed beta. Not too happy about that. Okay, I found this note in the desk. I don't remember reading this. Mr. and Mrs. Felton's farm, Rosso Gallo, closes. Danger of contamination. Wyman and the Feltons indicted for alleged criminal activity against consumers and production employees. October 2nd, 1971, the Rosso Gallo farm Pride of the Gallows, or Gallos, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, closed due to suspected contamination. It has been reported that many products have been infected by toxic pollen that could be the case of severe parasitosis. The owner, Ariana Gallo, top right, her husband, the notary Richard Felton, bottom right, professor and company partner Albert Elias Wyman, large picture, are under investigation. The letter has been allegedly accused by Felton himself of having used the company to carry out pharmaceutical experiments, taking advantage of corporate funds at his will. Indeed, the warning came from the residents at the company's headquarters, the Ashmans, who managed the building and supervised the harvesters, the sisters of the adjoining convent, photo. Among the reported sym symptoms, painful ulcers, vomiting, proliferation of parasites, and in some cases, keratosis photosensitivity. Following the heavy allegations, both the Feltons and the Ashmans received numerous threats from Wyman himself, who has been removed from the Order of Physicians today. Wyman said he was shocked by the charges and pointed his finger at his former business partner, Richard Felton. He personally funded me. It is worth knowing that Felton himself, like his father, promoted and funded the Phenoxyl Project a drug for which Wyman himself was nominated for the prestigious medicine award in 1957, but that was retired from the market a few years later due to the disastrous side effects. Meanwhile, even at Felton's, and it won't let me scroll down any further, so that's a little bit frustrating. Let's see the other side. Uh, you damn son of a bitch. See what they're right about me on the news? You want to tarnish me, but I'll get back at you. Oh, surely I will, starting with your daughter. Do you believe she doesn't know who her father is? I'm sure she'd be glad to know that she is his daughter. Show you've got balls. Take your own responsibilities. What am I saying? Balls. You never got balls. This guy is really obsessed with the testicles. Kind of off-putting a little bit. Okay, so now we have this cutscene, which I remember from the closed beta because they talk so fast. And I couldn't understand them because the music was so loud. But we have subtitles now so I can find out what they say. It would be too easy, wouldn't it? I believe in people's willpower. Everything else is not God, but an aptitude or mankind's cruelty. This is the kind of fairy tale I prefer at my age. When you're worn out from an incurable disease, you start having some doubts. Why is there so much life in such small but lethal creatures? An arbiter, that's all we need. For what? It's wrong and crazy. It's human nature. That same nature in which we are equal to those ants eating each other. But, pardon me, I forgot my manners. Please, sit down. What an icebreaker. Finally in the game, I'm just going to be showing the steps you need to take to complete the first part. In case you're watching this for a walkthrough. So you find the ground floor corridor key in Dr. Felton's jacket right there. And we're going to be using that right away. I don't think we really need to worry about Felton. Um, right now? I don't know where he is, but... I think he's probably pretty far from here at this point. Ah! 
<laughs> Fuck. Do you think I'm enjoying your stupid? <laughs> that was pretty good. Noisy little. You are not allowed to stay here. Uh oh. He's trying to hear for me. I just want to sleep. Well, there's a bed right there. I want you to take a nap. So apparently, you can use these gas cans to upgrade your defense items. So I'm I'm gonna do that. I don't know how you're upgrading them. Like I have a razor blade as my defense item, and I guess I'm just dousing it in gas. Look, it's green now. Isn't that cool? Also, I think I can move this stepladder now, so that's that's new. Anyway, we need to go through the ground floor corridor that we have the key to now. We gotta get the plunger from the kitchen. Oh, he went that way. Okay. So he went down the stairs, actually. Okay. Let's just go this way. Hope he doesn't hear us. Okay. So this is it. Uh, ground floor corridor key use. Please. Sometime this century, Rosemary. Let's go. Oh, here's the plunger. So, in the closed beta, it was in a drawer, but this time, apparently, it's just out. Do I hear footsteps? Because there's actually something else we need to get in here. It's right up there. Hmm. Should we just try to get it now? I don't see why not. Darn it! Go get it, go get it now. Go get it now. Just get, just get it over with. It's the handle. We'll come back here later to use it. Okay. So he's definitely, he's definitely gonna come in here. Oh! What? I thought he was coming from in there. Okay, he's... He's on his way. This house is not open to the public. <gasps> oh no 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 no! Don't come this way. Okay, he gave up really quickly. He gave up really easily. And now we're we're two puzzle items up. So, this rusty handle um, goes to the oven door, which we'll use in a second. Put the damn pills! He's always wondering where the pills are. It's like a big deal to him. Okay, I know he's nearby, but... I just feel like we gotta use it. Oh! I can't use it on the oven door just yet. Holes hook up some handle. Oh. Use the handle. Does it just work right away? Yeah, cool. Let's do it. Shoo the moths away! Shoo! Oh. Shoo! Get out of here, moths! Okay. Hopefully you didn't hear all that. And we got the film. So we gotta find and go through the lost film of the hypnosis session of Dr. Felton. Okay, cool. Um... We'll do that a little later. Right now, we've actually gotta get back up to the second floor and use the plunger to get something. Okay, so now we got the bathtub, and here's where we use the plunger. So, please use. There's a little something or other that we need right there. And it went down to the basement, great.
there's nothing left to, to eat. I, it's all molded. <laughs> there's nothing left to eat. It's all molded. I haven't heard that one before. This goodbye will be the chance to reach my land for me and then a whole new world is calling us. <laughs> I don't know what that little song that he sings is all about, but yeah, see you later. So now I've got to get two more items. Well, three really. Um, the first one, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just close this door. He won't know that we've been here. Uh, the first one, if it's in the same place it was. And the closed beta should be right in here. Okay. Um, it's in here somewhere. I can't remember where. I think, oh, okay. This book over here, we have to look at it. Or not the book, but the page right next to it. So let's check it. Uh, suspected of kidnapping and arson, renowned professor commits suicide. Unable to withstand the charges, Albert Elias Wyman hangs himself. Acquitted for lack of evidence, the community fulminated against him. The reasons were more than sufficient, however. Cover-up. Revenge! One month after the disappearance of the 13-year-old Celeste, pictured on the right, adoptive daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Felton, the dead body of Professor Wyman, pictured above, has been found today in his house. Wyman allegedly hanged himself. He was suspected in the disappearance of the young Celeste, even though there are no real proofs that should indicate that the dis disappearance was, in fact, a kidnapping. He was also accused of the arson at the cloister Cristo Morente, happened six days ago, in which all of the twelve nuns living there, pictured above, lost their lives, Ashman's daughter included. Wyman intimidated several times his former business partners, the Feltons, and the ex-employees at the headquarters, the Ashmans, who have accused him of using the company and spreading a dangerous parasitosis in order to experiment unapproved medicines. Albeit, why this is a wordy article, albeit Wyman, before his death, pleaded not guilty for the other charges, he never declared himself uninvolved in the contamination at, at Rosso Gallo. As a matter of fact, Wyman stated the proliferation of these moths and their living system may be the missing piece in modern medicine. Hmm, like the moths we saw in the oven. Allegedly, Wyman also said to act on behalf of Richard Felton, whom have been assuming... The prototype number one of phenoxyl for years before it's banned to cure his disease as he benefited from it during mesmerization sessions. They mean hypnosis. Even though Felton contracted the disease in a whole different context, the nuns who underwent tests before the fire reported similar symptoms in addition to a severe rise of insulin levels. Allergy to, and I have no idea why we can't scroll down further on this. Uh, let's see the other side. Um, forget something? Pre-styled wigs, your coiffer, co coiffer? For just $39.99. Great. Let's put it down. Oh no! He's definitely gonna hear that, by the way. He's definitely gonna hear that. He's definitely gonna hear that. But let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. Pick it up, Rosemary! God, he's gonna come in here. We gotta hide back here. So we need this cable to get that key. That's in the basement. He's gonna come in the open door. It's very good. This is noisy little. Come on. Ah! God damn it. So. You like to go around and rummage. I thought I thought I could close the door. I thought I could hold it shut. Doctor Reed, but apparently are not. Are you doing some overtime? Okay. No! In the case. I'm not going to repeat it. Okay, go 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 go. I bought us some time, but we gotta move. Seems like we have some company. No. God. Oh, hide, 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 hide. I haven't hit underneath here before. And now... Would you like to play? No, I wouldn't, actually. 
Who was it? Oh, keep calm. Keep calm. Oh, and they made this a little, a little tougher. You have to kind of stay on your toes a little more. Who likes to snoop inside people's houses? Apparently me. Get out of here. Oh boy. I'm gonna wait just a second and then I'll get out. I'll just do it now. So, what, 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 he's gonna hear me? Shh. Okay. Okay, good. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on. Jeez. All right. Let's attach the metal cable. What? Let's attach it here then. Please? <laughs> you, so you attach the metal cable to the dumb waiter. And then you attach that to the grate. And now we gotta get back up to the third floor to activate the dumb waiter to pull off the grate. I need to activate the goods lift to make it work. The goods lift, huh? Alright. Okay, let's go ahead and activate the goods lift. Pull up the grate. We'll go down there and get the key in just a second. First, if you don't know, you save through the mirrors. Oh no. We gotta go turn on the generator. Let's save the game, please. Okay, here it is. Let's turn it back on. We have power again now. Oh my god, there he is. What the? No! Shoot, he saw me go under here. Maybe he'll forget. Oh no. Leave me alone! Get out! Get out! Okay, go. Okay, that was real funny. Are you doing some overtime? I will make you. There's nothing left to eat. It's all molded. Why? Why does he give up as soon as I go into the basement? I've noticed this a couple times. Anyway, let's get the uh, pendulum key. Please get it. Find a way to raise the grill in the basement. Oh, we completed that. So the pendulum clock key goes to the pendulum clock. Obviously. I need another session. The pendulum clock is up here to the right. Okay. Pendulum clock key. Uh here we go. This is it. Use. Great. Oh. Uh, everything in this house is booby trapped. Get the battery. Who's playing around in my house? No one. There he goes. I like that if you're crouching, you can kind of sneak through the doors like that. That's pretty cool. Oh wait, no, no, no. I want the old one. I want the the greasy razor blade. So we just gotta get to the third floor. There's nothing left to eat, it's all molded. Maybe get some new food. Act like an adult. Run some errands. All right, here we are in the library. And we can place the film here on the camera. And finally, place the battery to power it. The car battery. This doesn't look like a car, does it? Can you please? Can you please put the battery in there? Uh, let's try to activate it. I need a service to project the video on. Okay, come on. You're not completely helpless. Let's get this to come down, please. Okay. Now turn it on.
And this will catch us up to where the closed beta ended. Oh, right. Get me down. Free yourself on the hook and run away. Let's do this. Get down. Get down, Rosemary. Get down. Come on. Come on. He's praying to the painting. Look at him. He's a loser. Let's get down. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, no. He's getting up. Come on. Run, 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 please. Ah. Oh no! No, no, no! I <laughs> Ow! Regret you were born. I already do, okay? Sister. Sister, that's what she says. You want to kill me? You want to kill me? So what happens now? What the I hell? Please, please, ah, I got you. No, no, no. Sorry. Run. What the hell? Run. Take this. Oh, we used our poisoned razor blade. Run. You can smell my blood. I can smell your blood. Okay, run, 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 run. Get the hell out of here. Okay, wait. What happened? Okay, Rosemary, you're looking rough. Let's heal you up by the mirror. So, Felton was running away from the red nun. Seems like he was scared of her slash him. That sounded like a male voice. I don't know, okay. I wanna try something over here. Ooh, let me get a defense item too. I wanna try something because I've, I've seen this. Restore life. So can we restore life? Oh, it's like cracking the mirror. Oh, but we look good. We look good now. Mir mirror's a little cracked, but it's fine. Okay, that's a little, that's a weird little system. So what now? Um, what is our objective now? Don't have any items. And we kind of just like ran out of the room Like, do we go back in there? Surely not. Maybe I try to just leave? Hey, wait! Wait, what? Investigate on the disappearance of Celeste. Apparently that, that objective has been completed. Okay, I said, hey, wait. So I think it's okay to run. Jennifer? Oh. Was that Jennifer that I saw running around the corner? What? Went up into the attic? Hey. You know, this, this isn't a safe place. Reach the loft upstairs, follow the girl. Well. Hang on, I gotta reach the... What the hell? There's a whole lot of noise going on over here. There's a lot of noise going on. Say what? Okay. What is this? Red Nuns of Crista Morente. Cultivation workers. Rosso Gallo Plantation, 1970. There's one that's not crossed out. 
During that fire at that field, someone survived. It's her. I've recognized her. It's like she followed Celeste. She showed up at the door a few days ago, or a few days after her return. According to Richard, this is a divine sign. He thinks this will help us to have our baby back, but this is bullshit. She is our baby. His obsession for Jay will end up killing us all. That nun, one of the workers in the field, the Ashman's daughter, she succeeded to control those disgusting moths. She became part of that thing herself, but I've smoked her out. She seeks revenge for the Prototype 2 of Phenoxyl. For everything we've done, and now she has persuaded Richard, uh, I can't scroll down. I can't scroll down to see the rest of this. I'm pressing the arrow keys, WASD. Usually you scroll down on these, but uh, for some reason I can't. So, I guess that's it. What? What the hell? What's this? An umbrella? Oh my god! What if that's his wife? You think she's out here? I don't know. She's around here. She's around here somewhere. Maybe I use the umbrella to pull down the cord to open up the attic. The moths are a sign of God to punish the heretics. Get in there. Get in there. What the hell was that? It's a good thing I went in here. Well, where are you? Oh, I don't. Come to me, Mars. Come to me. Come to me, moths. Come to me. Apparently, we got Lord of the Moths over here. Do you think? Do you think she checks cabinets? Use? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on, Rosemary. We don't got time to waste. Let's go. Ah, oh, yeah. Red Nun can't get up there. Can't do it. The heretics and the pigs will be burned. The here we go, here we go. Up here will be saved from the go up there in those heels. Yeah, that's right. That's practical. The heretics, the worms, they'll all be burned. Oh, mannequins, great. We've we've completed the objective. Now that thing can't get up here, right? Surely not. Is this a cabinet just in case? Hello? You okay, Rosemary? There? It's just mannequins. Hello? Yeah, this looks like all of Celeste's stuff. I guess. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for showing me. Where do you think she is? A okay, we got a doll's head that just fell down. she really likes dolls like a lot 
little too much. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? It's just like rubber banding. New house, new deal, new life. Uh, unpacking Ariana and Celeste, but Celeste is crossed out and it says, I'm Jennifer. Who's Jennifer? I don't get it. Who's Jennifer? Oh. Watch out. Watch out, Rosemary, behind you. Are they gonna at least tap you on the shoulder? Be polite. <laughs> you. Wow. All these women are really tall. I heard that her Rosemary is a little short. Well, on the short side. Um, See, so yeah, we we're in here. Just whoa! What the? What the fuck? Yeah, get out of here! Get out of here! Go! 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 That was unexpected. I like that. Man, this house is full of psychos. Now let's go to the report. Chodoscoro. A phone line repairman was attacked this morning in an underground car park. Surveillance cameras show a blonde woman in suit with an elegant, innocent air about her who approached the man with the pretext of lighting a cigarette. <gasps> what? Is that me? I'm in a suit. Wounding his head. The wanted person, aged between 30 and 40, then browsed through the man's briefcase containing confidential information about the users who asked the phone line to be repaired. She stole the van and started driving to an unknown destination, leaving the man unconscious. The authorities are now checking for any evidence that the woman might be looking for a address. Although the man is now out of danger, he has suffered lesions and a concussion and has been admitted to a hospital nearby. A few hours ago, that's, the authorities provided an identikit of a woman based on the victim's description. Yeah, that's her. We invite you to contact us if you find yourself in the presence of this woman, or if you that have seen a suspicious like you. Uh, thanks. Who are you? I hope you'll forgive me for before, but but you mustn't touch my things. My things are mine. You mustn't. That photo in a loft. What happened to that door? Richard made it disappear. He doesn't want anyone to go in. What do you mean? That door no longer exists. There is now a wall. A wall behind the fireplace. A fireplace? There, you're gonna find what you're looking for. How do you know what I'm looking for? You're kinda creepy. Well, too bad I can't. My bedroom is stinky. <laughs> My bedroom is stinky. Oh wait. Yeah, we need this. Where the Oh, oh that's you. That was you. You walk kind of funny. Okay. There's a wall behind the fireplace, you say. I hate the taste of the next song. I don't want drugs. Okay. Where the hell are we? Oh, wow. Okay. You said there's a wall behind the fireplace. Celeste's face is unrecognizable. 
Looks like the canvas has been ruined on purpose by scratching too much, but why? Huh. What the? Is it behind this one? Behind this fireplace? Is this what you were talking about? Oh, there's, there's too much... There's too many sounds happening right now. Something about being mesmerized. What the hell? Do not want. Here we go around this way. We can't touch her things. I understand that much. Okay. Wait, we can touch the remote. Oh, uh, we've got to do something there, I bet. The. Okay. Let's save our game. Okay. Um. Can I save or can I heal up? Apparently I'm hurt. Oh, here we go. Oh my god! Oh my god, the red nun's right there! They can coexist! I don't like that! Oh my god, which way are we supposed to go? Ah! Hi! Ooh! That is rough, man. The sinners, the heretics, oh! the will be turned around! The ones who show the up here will be saved from the place. Oh my god. How does she know? Or he. Whatever. I'm gonna pick this up. I'm picking it up. Picked up the battery. Oh! Nope! Nope! I'm sorry! What I'm sorry! What are you doing?! I'm away from you! You shouldn't do that! I'm sorry! Okay. Uh... Let's go. Oh, come on! Are you serious? You will burn to read. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Bye bye. No, I was trying to hold it shut. What? There's only one God, and he already wrote your end. Okay, go, go, go. I heard you. Well, congratulations! Where are you hiding, Finna? I don't know why, but you can go into the basement and they don't come after you. Maybe they're scared of something down here. I don't know. Very convenient, though. In heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Amen. Yes, amen. Now... If a woman approaches any animal to join herself with it, thou shalt kill the woman and the animal. If an animal shall join with an animal... Er, if a woman shall join with an animal, thou shalt kill the woman and the animal. It's a very weird verse to just pull out of your ass while stalking someone. Okay. Two AA batteries still working that could activate some other compatible device. Okay. So we've got got a couple batteries. I'm going to I'm going to dip my defense item in uh, gasoline to make it more potent. Okay, so I don't know what fireplace 
that lady's talking about. Ooh, you think the battery goes here? Yeah. Yes, do it. Yes. Yes, Rosemary. Repair that weird stepladder. Battery-powered stepladder. I don't... That's all it did? Find whatever you need to activate the stairs controller in the basement. Okay. So now what? I'm trying to click on it. Okay, this is embarrassing. Oh my god, you have to click it from the side. That was really frustrating me. I just had to spam it. So what is this? What am I getting? What is it? Oh, are you cold, Rosemary? What's the... What happened? You picked up the oil can. Why, did, why was it acting like she was cold? Okay. Semi-empty can of lubricating oil found on one of the shelves in the basement. I could use it to lubricate... Oh, lubrificate, rather. A stuck device. I don't know if lubrificate is a word. So I've still got to find... That fireplace. And I don't think it's either of the fireplaces that are on the ground floor. Makes me think it's maybe on the second floor. Although, oh, come. You know, I, I think you could have picked a more intimidating plague than moths, perhaps. Oh. Oh. I was like. I know they're around here somewhere. Here, here we go, here we go. This fireplace. Holy crap. Apparently, there's something behind this wall. Yes, get to it. Get. The dots are still there. It's weird. Okay, that was loud. Hey, you think you might want to go in there? Examine the suspicious fireplace. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go in there. You want to be out there with the Red Nun and Celeste? If that is who she is? I didn't think so. I don't want to be out there with them either. Anything in here? Okay, that was a waste of time. Great. We've got a cabinet. We can hide in there if we want to. What is this? Do we push this? Looks like we push it. Where are we pushing it? Wheels are jammed, the tree won't move. Aha! Aha! We use the oil can. It said the wheels are stuck. Hang on, do I have to be like, okay, I have to be hovering over it. Actually, before we do this, let's save it the mirror. Because I don't know what's gonna happen after we do this. And I wanna make sure that we are in prime position. Should we die? Okay. Looks like we're good. Let's go lubricate these wheels. Uh, or sorry, lubrificate them. Do it. Great job. Now, push it. Push it real good. Like salt and pepper. Nothing like making dated references on new media ventures, am I right? Move the cart that blocks the plastered wall. Feels like there's something behind this wall. Open a gap through the plastered wall in the secret corridor. 
Feels like there's something behind this wall. Okay. Do we maybe push this through the wall? Oh, just tip it over. That's really loud. Great, you idiot. Guess who's coming to come kill us now? Explore Celeste's room. Oh, this is her room. This is her room. Hopefully we can... Explore undisturbed. Somehow I doubt it. It's not flickering. I don't think there's any way that the red nun can get back here. Okay, let's just... Open up the drawers. Okay. Not really anything here, is there? Something in the bathroom? There's a cracked mirror. What? What was that? I've... Where is that coming from? There's nothing in there. What? There was nothing in there! I guess there was something, though. Who are you recording this for? Hopefully not yourself. I want to remember. I must. I did just remember. I promised that we would have seen each other again on top of the world. Very sad. You should get the hell out of here right now. Sounds like you need to move. Sounds like you recorded for way too long. Seems that escaping wasn't a very big priority for you. Okay, I'm gonna put it down now. What was that? What's happening? 
Rosemary, come on. What was that? Knocking over the chair. Oh, there's mods. They're blocking my my escape. I can't leave now. There's mods. What? It's all in your head. Stop it! Okay. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Wait, what? What? Oh, don't look at it. The mirrors. Ah, okay. Destroy the mirrors. There's a bunch of them. Uh... Yeah, that's great. I need to drop this. Brick. Oh, it's a brick. Because I had that, um... Oh. Oh, there's unlimited bricks. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I had that rope that you can't... You can't throw. Okay, I got this. I got this. Okay. Turn, stop telling me to turn around. Okay, okay. Alright, that one's busted. Excuse me. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. There's one right here. Oh, there's one here, too. Doing very well. What, is that it? Did I do it? There's mods around the cabinet, too. Wait, what? Did we go into the cabinet? Is she still hiding there to this day? She's been eating ramen noodles in here for centuries. Oh! This is the secret passage behind the wardrobe. Uh-oh. Well, she's dead. Alright, guys. Thanks for playing Remothered. Um, unfortunately... Anticlimactic end, but uh, I think we can all agree She's alive actually Just a little wet But her shins are fine Shit. The they didn't I? immediately shatter Where the hell am I well, looks like you're in the obligatory sewer level in every horror game Thank you for playing the early access version of remothered tormented fathers. Oh, that's it. Okay, um, so that's all there is right now. That's too bad. I was hoping there'd be more. That's it? Okay, uh, I guess we'll just have to wait for more. Okay, well, that was, that was like 45 minutes extra content over the closed beta and this one's publicly available so for a lot of people this is like you know two and a half hours ish of um content so far i would say for was it 12.99 us so that's not bad not a bad deal especially for an indie title of this quality this is basically what I think a lot of people expected Night Cry to be. I never played Night Cry, but just from what I've heard. So, this is pretty cool so far. I just, I just wish it was a little longer. I don't know what their plans are regarding the full release, the final release of this game. I know it's the first part of a planned trilogy, so... I don't think we're gonna get all the answers at the end of this game. It sounds to me 
like after that point that we were just in, we're supposed to find our way to the attic and climb down the drain pipe and leave the estate. So we're probably at about the two thirds mark of the full game, I would say. And of course, I, I don't know, who knows? Maybe they're gonna make this way longer, you know, but seems to be where we are lengthwise. Um, I think this is improved over the closed beta in most ways. I like that they put the plunger on the counter because it was super annoying seeing it in the drawer in the closed beta. So that was definitely an improvement. The directional audio seemed to be better. Uh, there were still some trouble spots, but for the most part, it was greatly improved. That was probably my, uh, my number one complaint with the previous version. So glad they shored that up. Overall, I think it's good to support a game like this, um, especially if you're into the niche. I mean, Third person, old school, clock tower style horror isn't exactly a headline grabber today. Uh, this is definitely something that's going to be kind of an underground indie release. But uh, yeah, if you're into it, I would say pick it up, follow along with the development. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'll play it when it gets updated again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.